Just as I was about to give up all hope, a guy named Dan came to the rescue. First question is just um, if you could, for the documentary style thing, yeah. just say, uh, hi, my name's Dan and I'm the owner and founder of Southwest Customs, something like that. Give us a... Say hi, dude. Yeah, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, my name's Dan. Um, I set up Southwest Custom ten years ago now. So I tried to get a bit of a niche in the market, uh, in this area especially, and do anything, pretty much take on stuff that a lot of people don't want. Do all the fabricating, all the welding, mainly classic cars, um, and the customising. I was in the trade doing body repairs on just general cars, and then really in my area it, it wasn't around doing the stuff I wanted, so I just tried to set with doing it up myself. I didn't really know where I was going to go, and then it just kicked off really. What sets aside? Uh, passion. So my passion, I love what I do, and my staff I take on, and they've got to love what they do as well. They've got to be car enthusiasts. It doesn't matter if they've got cars themselves or bikes or anything, as long as they enjoy what they do. I always write down what we do. Hours are documented, we take photos, we document on a worksheet everything that we do. You see where your money goes, and I've found a lot of places don't do that. For you generally, they do a job, you get an invoice, you know the area they've repaired or whatever they've done. You don't really know where your money goes. So I, I like to believe that set us aside a little bit. Brilliant, and so how many people are there on your team? So there's currently uh, three, including me. We all get on really well. We try and have a bit of fun along the way as well. <laughs> when I first set up, it's funny, because I was actually told yeah. I won't be able to make it work in a sense of doing just big projects. I right, say so we've got about 10 projects on the go and we'll do say a week on one, a week on another, a week on another, so it's a rotation system. That's the only way we can get through all the jobs and then we invoice each month. But a lot of people are saying that's not going to work, you're going to need your bread and butter, you're going to need little repair jobs at the corner bumpers, doors and you know, little people. And I said, well, I don't think so because as long as we're invoicing at the end of the month, it'll work. So I had a bit of a, you know, a few people were saying that, so it sort of made me think, well, no, I don't think so, I'm going to prove this wrong. I like the job done right, yeah. and I think, I think just because I've got a passion for what I do. I just enjoy it. I just enjoy, enjoy my job, I enjoy my business, I just love what I've achieved here, and I love my staff. And that passion shows. Throughout this season of Charting Course, you'll see Ulendo be resurrected from years of former owner neglect and transformed by the best, most genuine and talented team I've ever had the honour of meeting. Dan's not only taken on this project amidst his already very heavy work schedule, but he's let me visit every couple months to check out the progress and allowed me to film not just these, but a full-blown interview as well on his day off. I'm not being sponsored or asked to say any of this. So believe me when I say that, to me, Southwest Custom is the gold standard epitome of the paintwork and restoration world.